Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Green Again, which is, and I quote from the Steam Store page of the game, a chill and cosy city builder game, which I think sounds all very wonderful. And to quote the Steam Store page even more, it also says, help a tribe of little plant people reclaim their planet taken over by defective robots. And that's just everything we need to know right there, isn't it? We are helping little plant people fight robots. Yes, absolutely. I am in 100%. Go team little plant people. We can do this. Away with you, you pesky robots. Now, this is the demo of the game. It's on Steam right now as I record this. And as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description where you can go and check the game out a little bit more and also have a go at the demo if you would like to. But anyway, here we go. Time to jump right in and get green again. Okay, no here we go there's a lovely planet right there with some very lovely hexagons on it which is a good sign because you know hexagons are the best guns and all that kind of stuff so what are we doing over here select a zone where you want to start your first settlement each zone offers unique challenges and goals if this is your first time playing it is recommended to start with town zone okay so which one of these two hexagons here with the question marks in is town zone is that town zone there we go this is one of the few areas that isn't occupied by robots Build a safe haven here to draw other tribes to join your cause. There are some old tech structures in this zone which could be captured so you can uncover their ancient knowledge. Create a little town for your people. Capture ancient buildings to decipher them. Okay, so that's not got robots in. What's the other one then? The junkyard zone. Broken robots and machinery end up in this area and there's a risk of active bots appearing. The soil is covered with concrete slabs which you must clean up by using pods. You must also create a large stockpile of food to supply further expeditions. If you're a new player, I recommend playing Town Zone first. I mean, does Town Zone have robots in? Does Town Zone have robots in? That's got a goal of remove concrete from the soil and create a food stockpile. But the goal over here in Town Zone is to create a little town for your people and then capture ancient buildings to decipher them. I like creating a little town for your people. That sounds quite a fun thing. Do you know what? The game has said, if this is your first time playing, maybe nip over to the town zone and have a go at that. So who are we to argue with what the game is telling us? So here we go. Let's pop over to the town zone and make a little town for our little planty people. Right, here we go. Welcome. Thank you very much. The big building in the middle is your main base. It houses sproutling workers. They sound very adorable, who will automatically perform the tasks you give them, such as building structures, and will clear surrounding tiles within the base radius when there are no other tasks assigned. Okay, right, so we have to get sproutling workers to go and do some stuff, that's fine. Building a well is a practical first step. You can place wells on water deposits marked by a big water drop on the map. Click on the build button to open your list of buildings. Okay, so let's go in and have a little look around. Oh, look, <gasps> are they the sproutling workers? Hello, sproutling workers. They're completely adorable. Okay, right, now that we know the game is in motion and stuff is happening, I think this is the perfect time to ask a very important question. And I think we all know what it is, so say it along with me. Is Spacebar pause? And yes, I can happily confirm that Spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. Now, can we do anything when the game is paused? I don't think so. I don't think we can. It's one of these kind of, you know, you pause the game, that's it. Everything is paused. You can't move around the map. You can't click on things. That's kind of it. You ask for a pause, it's paused. Okay, right, this is fine. So let's get time ticking on again. Look, they're just kind of removing all these kind of rubbishy broken things and digging these crystals and things and just getting on with stuff. That's great. Well done. Well done, little sproutlings. And look, they just kind of carry the things above their heads. Okay, so that's our main base which looks quite lovely as well. That looks quite nice. So let's get a well put together, shall we? So go to build and a well draws water on the ground. It's going to cost us 50 monies and 15 per pipe hex. Okay, so up here we've got some money. We've got one and a half thousand coins. We've got 32 food, 303 generic kind of building materials, I assume, and 11 crystals because we did just get some crystals from around here. And then, yeah, no water at all, which is probably quite bad, actually, for a race of people who are planty. I think water might be quite important. So if we put that there, that's going to give us four water, cost 80 money, and it's going to be 25 materials to build a pipe linking the well to the base. OK, we'll have one of those and we'll have another one as well. Let's get two 
to get a sturdy supply of water going on. And yeah, is another one going to come out? Yep. There we go. Hello. They've got hammers. This is good. It's good to know that the tradition of using a hammer to build everything is being upkept, even by the planty people. This is good. There's a thing there. There's a thing. Is that one of the sort of ancient buildings that we have to work on to decipher, possibly? Maybe it is. Okay, right. So there we go. We've got some water coming in. We are consuming no water, which is a surprise, but okay. And we're producing eight water. Right, that's a very good thing. So now we can build a cottage. Okay, increases population limit by one. One for every neighbouring house or decoration. Decoration? Decorations. Oh, there are decorations. Meadows. There's a festive tree. There's a mighty oak. There's a bit of a hedge going on. There's even a snow sproutling. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, and then we've got farms over here. So we've got carrot farms, corn farms, leek farms, and beet farms, and these are locked away. Okay, so we've got ourselves things that we can unlock with various other structures. And then in here, you know, we've got a house and a mansion and a bridge and an outpost and various other things. Okay, I think maybe let's spend a tiny bit of money and some materials on getting a cottage in. Let's put the cottage uh, just there. We'll put a cottage there, and then can we put one there and then one there and there and then in the middle can we put a lovely decorative can we put an oak in the middle like so there we go right so we have spent a good chunk of money and i don't know if we're supposed to be following these tutorials over here or not but we've kind of gone yeah we've gone off piece a little bit there we're doing what we like with this should we read these uh buildings need stuff to be built yep that's absolutely fine uh water supply Yep, kind of worked that out. That's okay. We can find more deposits by placing outposts and watchtowers and exploring the map. Okay. Ah, wouldn't you have a well? You should start placing a few farms. Okay, farms your core buildings as their crops can be sold for coins or converted into food. Okay, so we should get some farms in. That's fine. And then housing. I think we've kind of worked out as you place houses next to decorations or other houses, they provide a bigger population boost, which is very good. The only thing is... We don't have very much happiness right now. Maybe because I've... Oh, yeah, food. Okay, food is plummeting. Um, let's get... Uh, let's get ourselves a carrot farm, shall we? Let's put a carrot farm over there. We'll have a carrot farm there. And then let's get another farm in. Uh, let's get a... What should we have? Leeks. Get a leek farm just here. That's good. And then we'll get ourselves a corn farm there just to kind of mix things up a little bit we are going to need to complete these farms very quickly because i've built lots of housing for people but we've not got any food possibly did that a little bit the wrong way around but never mind and then i imagine we build an outpost to expand the borders okay right we've got we've got a farm we've got a carrot farm over there they're going to start growing carrots which is brilliant now if we click on that what happens do we get like how do we control the amount of little kind of worker sproutlings we've got there's so many of them <laughs> look at them look at them they're adorable okay right we need to grow food really quickly like fantastically quickly like you've never ever grown food before such speedy food needs to happen here and uh, we have got space down there for another farm i think which could be quite good but we are going to need some more water for that so maybe over here, look, there's two sources of water. So possibly, if we get an outpost over here, it's 300 money, 15 money per pipe hex, and 25 of materials. But, oh, and population 20. Where's our population count? Ah, down there, 24. Okay, so now we can build that. So if we put that, say, um, yeah, I want to get that those these crystals down here as well. If we put that there, look, um yeah that's okay in fact we took it into there that's probably quite good so if we put that into there that's 390 money and 25 materials but i think that's pretty good so we'll drop that in and that's going to open up all that area there ideally you should have a few farms and wells placed by now once they're harvested you'll get more coins and food it's probably a good idea to increase the game speed and fast forward to the moment when your fields yield crops if we're low on money at any time, you can always look for the small orange weeds growing on desert soil. Tell your workers to harvest them with a clear order 
and they'll gather them providing ah, money and materials. Okay, that's quite handy. I can see them over here. So, okay, clear that then. And that's a little bit distant, isn't it? I don't really want them to go and clear that one there because it's a little bit out of the way. How about we clear that and that and that because that gives us materials and we don't have much in the way of those. Okay, that's pretty good. And yeah, our goals over here, I quite like the goal. So yeah, create a little town, reach target population of 400 people. So we've got 24 right now, so a little way to go. But one of the actual goals is to place decorations. The game would like us to place not just five decorations, not even 10 decorations, 150 decorations. That's absolutely magnificent. Uh, and then yeah, capture ancient buildings to decipher them. Capture ancient buildings. Ooh. There's a bag of money over there or something. A mystery box. Um, how do we get that? Do we have to clear it? Uh, how does that work? If we press clear, can we go and grab the mystery box? And then also grab that and that as well because they're kind of handy resources. Okay. So now they're working on... What is that? Weeds. Oh, they're just harvesting weeds. Oh, it's this orange stuff growing. Ah, right. Okay. But because it's in our area here... It's within a green sort of radius of our control. They're actually doing it automatically. Okay, this is good. This is good. The only thing we're lacking is food, which it is less good, I'll be honest. Uh, we could do with another couple of wells, or at least one more well. I would have thought might have been quite useful. Um, oh, it goes right into there. Oh, ah, right. That's okay. We will have a well there and a well there. And now we have no money. So we need to wait for the crops to grow. So the game did say, get a bit of a wriggle on with this. So, okay, so we'll see what happens. How long does it take for them to harvest? Oh, decoration unlocks sunflowers. Okay, claim, absolutely. We will take any decorative items whatsoever. We'll have them. Thank you very much. Uh, right, so get that ticking on. 3% um, terraforming progress. But look, they're bringing things in. Okay, so we've now got 39 food. Right, I feel a bit happy now that we've got some food. We haven't got much in the way of coin, though. So how do we sell things? How do we sell things? Like six more unread tutorials. We're sort of doing it right. Happiness is... Um, okay, hang on, was it? So more food and placing decorations. Yep, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, I'm with you on that. I, I'm also the same. <laughs> Give me some decoratives and something to eat, and I'm very happy. Clearing is just where we can clear stuff. We've seen that already. Outpost, we have one of those. It's secondary base where workers spawn. Okay, that's good to know. Crystals. Actually, yeah, crystals. What do they do? You can find valuable crystals on explored tiles. They can be used to unlock new crops, build upgrade structures, and be traded for monies. It's also possible to build the caravan post upgrade, which provides a steady income of crystals. Okay, so how do we do that then? Um, weeding is just the orange stuff, that's fine. Um, weather, uh, yep, okay, crops are their preferred seasons. They only grow when the weather is right. Okay, so some of these are not going to grow in winter, I imagine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, farms, yep, they cost money and water and materials. Yeah, the crops differ in profit and everything else. That's absolutely fine as well. Right, dividing the harvest. When your workers harvest the fields, you get money and food. Use the slider at the bottom to set how much of the yield gets turned into coins or food. Oh, down here. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, food increases workers' happiness. Happier workers are faster. Okay, so the more food we have, the better they're going to be. So I think let's make our workers happier by giving them more food. That's fine. And then switching farms. As the season change, you should plant new crops, which grow in the current weather. Uh, to save a bit on resources, you can overplant farms. That means you can select one of the crops and place that farm directly on top of another farm. The crop is replaced, but it costs no additional workers or water. It's a useful move during the first year. Okay, so we select one of the crops, like that, and then place it... How do we change the farm? That's corn. Are these things not growing very well? I'm not entirely sure. How do we find out? Oh, we haven't got enough money to get into the farm at the minute. Um, that grows well in... Oh, okay. The carrots grow well in the autumn. The corn grows well now, which is good. And the leek grows well 
in the previous season, so in the spring, and the beets grow well in the summer and the autumn. Okay, right, so two of the fields should be okay. The carrots might not be brilliant right now, but they will get there in time. Okay, right, that's all good. That's all good. We have an upgrade button down here now. There is an upgrade button. Upgrades, tell me more, game. In the upgrades menu, you'll find a tech tree consisting of base structures, which unlocks some new possibilities and new kinds of crops. There are also upgrades which give you additional boons. Good use of the word boons there. Most of the upgrades are quite expensive to build, but it's worth buying them. Okay, so what's that? Uh, oh my goodness me, that's 500 monies. The marketplace, that would be quite good. That would be very good. That requires quite a lot of the crystal gem things and also a lot of money. Um, the workshop can convert gravel soil into dirt. Okay. Okay, so there's quite a lot going on in this game. There's quite a lot happening. I mean, yeah, it looks adorable. It looks adorable. All the little kind of happy planty people going around in their little lovely houses. But yeah, there is actually quite a lot going on. It's you know, a fairly sort of detailed game when you get down to the mechanics of it. Um, okay, okay. So the worker efficiency is down because we haven't got enough decoratives. I mean, this is brilliant. This is a game that encourages decoratives. That's magnificent. Right, so everyone's running around really quickly and we're going to get more food for them and more food makes them happier, which is brilliant. So I think for now, to get some more money, let's just work all those weeds that are sort of nearby. They're sort of nearby. Uh, yeah, we'll go and um, grab some weeds from here as well because we might as well because that means we've got some money. 404 corn. Oh yeah, the money's pouring in. I think as well, did we just get some corn in there as well? Maybe we did. Okay, so money looking good. Let's do some more building, shall we? I mean, maybe another outpost over here wouldn't be such a bad shout. Get an outpost over there. Maybe if it could cover that thing there, that might be quite handy. So uh, yeah, we'll build an outpost. Ah, we now need for another outpost a population of 40. Right, so now we need to get some more housing going on. So we'll have a house there and a house there. So that's going to get us up to, what's that, another plus 6, another plus 12. That can get us up to a uh, massive penge, 36. So, and that'll be another 5 if we put one there to get us up a bit. What if we put one there and one there and put another decorative in the middle? Let's do that. There we go. More decoratives. More of these. Let's have a tulip field. Uh, yeah, we'll put that in there, please. Absolutely. This is brilliant. And there we go. That's a second decorative out of a somewhat majestically high 150 we need. But there we go. That's fine. That's fine. We like decoratives. Okay. So that's now in. We've got 51 little planty people living here now, which is brilliant. So we can now get another outpost just we can only just afford it but that's fine so if we put that there that oh the weather's changed okay the weather has changed a bit so okay so the carrots are going to be good corn not so good the leeks are still looking fine so if we put that there oh we got given 400 monies did we oh no hang on quests um every once in a while you'll get quests which are similar tasks or smaller tasks sorry rewarded by monies Building structures and upgrades unlocks new types of quests. You may only have five quests active at a time, but you can cancel those which you're not interested in doing. Okay, so we've got a thing here. So if we place 20 decorations next to houses, we're going to get 400 money. I mean, that just seems like it's something we're going to do anyway. So yeah, okay, we'll give it a go. We shall try. Um, I think maybe if we put... Ooh, capturing buildings... Okay. Oh, no, that kind of furnace thing. You'll encounter various neutral buildings on the map, which can be captured. Your workers will plant a green flag next to them, and they have done. They, it's going green, you see. Uh, these buildings give various bonuses, extra people, food, water, etc. Left-click on them to know the details. Okay, so what does that do just there? Generates a steady supply of uh, steady income of materials by smelting scrap. Oh, so that's just going to generate a teeny tiny amount of money every so often, is it? How does it work? 
do we have to have somebody going into it to work in it? I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, it is getting a little bit kind of you know wintry around here. It's getting quite frosty and such. Um, maybe then let's get a. F I mean, none of these are going to work in winter, are they? None of these are going to work in winter very well. So maybe we don't get the farms down now. Let's possibly boost our population a bit more. Let's get a big old population boost going on. So we'll have another little house there and one there and one here and one here. And that means in the middle here we can put another decorative and that'll really make the most of the housing setup we've got. Uh, let's have some sunflowers. Pop them in like that. So we've got 67 people right now. And as soon as that's done, it's 73. So that gave us 10 extra people just from putting down some sunflowers. You wouldn't guess there were sunflowers there, but okay. <laughs> Apparently there are. We'll have money from that. We'll have money from that. Thank you. Money from... Okay, right. All the plants have died. The plants are now all dead. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we do need some more water. We need to go and get some more wells on the go. Uh, yeah, we'll have that one. That's 80 monies to connect up to that. Uh, yeah, all right, that's fine. Do that. We need some more water, so that's all good. Uh, we are getting toward the target population a little bit better. The decorative one is slightly trickier, but right, okay. So the good news is winter doesn't last very long. Winter is very, very short, which is brilliant. So uh, you could potentially spend your time faffing about with, you know, getting different farms at different times of year, but the time goes by pretty quickly anyway. So I think it's okay. We'll just get a whole load of farm set up. It's all going to be fine. So I think we need to get another well. When we get some more money, we need to get another well set up. Uh, yeah, we'll go and grab these things again for some easy money. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we'll have a bit of that as well. So yeah, we'll go and grab or oh, try and get some money and then we'll just set up many farms because farms are where all the stuff is. So yeah, we'll just get loads of farms set up. We need to build a technician's cottage. That's one of these things. Okay, so I think for now we just need to get loads of farms in. Uh, plant 54 tiles of corn next to each other. Uh, 54. Oh, we've completed that quest. Hooray, we got some money for it. Good. <laughs> what was that quest? I'm not entirely sure, but okay, we did a thing. Good. Uh, I mean, corn is good anyway, but the, you know, the profit from corn is good, but the beet grows in two seasons, which is pretty good. So how about we get ourselves um, a bit of a setup of beetroot, shall we? So we'll have one there and we'll have another one there and we'll have another one... Uh, that annoyingly doesn't fit with that well just there, but never mind. Uh, we'll put one... Uh, where can that live? Oh, that outpost is kind of in the way. And we need a well to go just there. What we'll do is get the well in. Uh, no, not that button. Get that well set up like that. And then can we put the farm in over here and it just have one less tile to work? That'd be okay. I'll be quite happy with that. Yeah, there we go. So one less tile, but that's fine. Um, and then water again, looking a little bit iffy. We could do with we could do with just a lot more water. We need a lot more water going on. Okay, so what's the next outpost requirement? What do we need? Sixty. Ah, okay. Well, we've got enough people. It's a lack of money holding us back. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fun. There's a thing down there. Pumping station. Ooh. Oh, that could be handy. That's just a water thing. Okay, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. There's one of them over there. There's two over here. There are two pumping stations. Something just went bing. Did, did we complete a goal? I'm not quite sure, but okay. Um, right, I think then, I think we get our next outpost over here somewhere and then make use of these two pump station things and also another furnace thing. That could also be quite handy. Oh, there's a mysterious thing. Oh, it's a stash. There's a secret stash over there. Okay. Um, ah, I was going to say we'll wait until we have a big pile of money, but we already have a big pile of money. Hurrah. Right, build an outpost. And if we put that... Oh, hang on. Put it there. That will cover the thing there, the stash, I think, and the two pumping station things. So, yeah, we'll put that there, please. 
So somebody go and work on that. There you go. You go and work on that. Whack that with a hammer. Uh, right, what are you telling us, Chucho? Winter. The cold season has been good. I uh, possibly should have read this a while back, but okay. Um, if you build weather control from the upgrades menu, it functions as a greenhouse and plants will survive the harsh cold. Oh, well, that sounds like quite a good thing to have. Okay. Um, bugs. Some fields have been infected, or infested, sorry, with nano bugs. These red mechanical insects float over your crops and destroy them if they aren't removed in time. To avoid losing the crops, but a technician's cottage upgrade. Oh, okay, we haven't quite got to that. And then water and bridges. Dry lake and riverbed start filling with water as you terraform the map. Ah, I did notice there were kind of like dry river beds and gullies and things. Uh, regular buildings can't be placed on water tiles except for bridges. They're expensive, but of course people can go across them. Okay, this is our big thing right now. Okay, that's all ours. Outcome 20 bazillion little kind of people. What are you bringing in? So that had, that's quite a lot of money. And statue of the gardener. Yes. Okay, that sounds brilliant. Right, we've gone into autumn and we have a giant pile of money. So how about we get the marketplace? Unlock that, please, for a big pile of money. And then scrap dealers is oh one and a half thousand minutes okay so the next thing is the ah the technician's cottage okay that's quite good we need that 700 monies to get that done um we've got an entire season do you know what we might be okay we might be okay got some good water coming in now and that thing as well is going to start generating oh it's materials not money okay but that's going to generate materials which we could potentially if we build a marketplace. Do we build a marketplace? How do we sell things? Trading. Uh, ah, it's up here. Okay. Uh, by building the marketplace upgrade, you can unlock trading. Uh, yeah, so we can sell the crystals and the materials for money and we can buy stuff as well. Okay, so if we go to here then, uh, we can sell uh, upgrade marketplace to unlock. Oh, botherations. I was hoping to sell the materials to get money. <laughs> okay, we could sell some of these okay so if we sell i don't know two of those what if we sell some more crystals we've got quite a lot of them we want to get over 700 monies and boom there we go right 700 monies go to here and then unlock the technician's cottage and that also unlocks pumpkins and eggplant things which is brilliant okay right we shall have a bit of that, thank you very much. And now we have no money, brilliant. Okay, I spotted a little kind of goodie box over there. So we bought that back. That had a massive pile of money in it. And just before the snows came down and got rid of all of the weeds and things, we did go on a very aggressive weeding program and got rid of loads of stuff. So we are now quite rich. We do have 1,656 monies, which is pretty good. That's very good indeed. So... Maybe now, let's get a few more wells set up. So we've got water just there. That's pretty good. So that's another source of water coming in. Have we got another well over here that we could use? Um, no. So I think now we need another, another outpost. Okay, so now we need 80 people. So I think maybe we need to get another little kind of housing area set up. We'll get one house just there. That'll get some nice boost from being adjacent to the other ones. Um, and then in that gap there, spending some of our huge amounts of money, let's get a lovely statue. Uh, oh yeah, statue of the gardener. Statue of an ancestor who started planting crops. Yeah, we just pop that in there because why not? It looks quite nice. And that can't, well, we could use that for a farm. We could pop a farm in there. Actually. Hang on, why have we not got a farm in there? That can be a carrot farm. Why not? Boop, there we go, carrot farm. Um, and we're on 80 people. So now we can get another outpost. Now, where do we go with this? Maybe if we put it there, that does fill in quite a lot of the sort of gaps there. So yeah, let's put it there. And that'll fill in a nice amount of space over there. Uh, then we'll clear these kind of weeds out of the way. Uh, yeah, it was quite good clearing the weeds because you can just sort of click and just hold it over and they run out and just grab all the stuff. So it did get us a huge amount of money. So they're working on all that. That's being claimed. What does that do? What's that? A nomad house. A house of friendly nomads who join in your mission. Gives extra workers. Oh, we're on 90 people. 
Oh, that's quite fun. Right, and now let's get some different things in. So pumpkins are unlocked. Eggplants are unlocked. Okay, let's get some pumpkins in because summer is coming up. So here we go. Let's get some pumpkins in. Um, we'll put that... We'll put some just there. We're not going to get the full complement of pumpkins, right? But that's fine. So we'll have one lot there. Um, oh, I see. Do they, pumpkins can't grow out. They have to grow on that kind of soil. Okay, that's fine. So we'll have one like that, and one like that, and another like that. So plenty of pumpkins going on. That's all very good. And then eggplant is, uh, again, not looking good on that soil there. We'll get... We'll put one in like that look, just to mix it up a bit, just to have something a little bit different. There we go. And then down here, should we just get some more beets? Let's just put some more beets in. Uh, that's one lot and two lots. There we go. That'll do. More beets. And then maybe in this space here, we can get some more housing going on, because that would be quite handy. Crystal's looking a bit low. Water's looking absolutely fine. We need to get a well in just there, just to get some more water. That's very good. Can we build wells on land that isn't ours? No. Okay, so we can't do that. So, right, water's looking good. Happy with that. Food is looking amazing. Uh, money, yep, all coming in quite nicely. Soil types. The more valuable crops grow in the uncertain soil types, the darker ground means better soil. Ah, here we go. So if we get the workshop, we can get the terraformer upgrade and that will help out a bit. Okay, and then farm combos. Adjacent fields of the same type generate a greater yield. So try planting the same crops next to each other. Ah, okay, right, that makes sense. So yeah, over here, look, they're going to get a greater yield. Um, yeah, we're making quite a lot of money, and we are picking up quite a lot of food. And of course, as it said, the more food we have, the happier the people are, which is wonderful. Um, so let's look in here then. Can we get that? That requires, ah, 35 crystals. Right, where can we get crystals from? There, there, there. And we'll just grab some stuff here as well. And grab all that, because it's materials. Have we got any weeds? Could we go weeding? Oh yeah, down here, look. Uh, that's money and and um, and materials as well. So yeah, we'll get people doing that. Loads over there. Get all those. That's just free cash right there. Get that sorted, please. Um, okay, well, we've got loads of money now. This is brilliant. I like this. <laughs> this is great. Um, and then... Uh, what was it in here again? Uh, ooh, nano separators. One worker is enough to clear a nano bug infested. Ah, okay, right. Um, I assume we don't have to actually build the technician's cottage. It's not a physical thing we put down. We've just kind of got one, have we? So I think, yeah, the workshop is the next big thing. But yeah, that's 35 crystally things. I think. Have we gone through? Oh, no, hang on, hang on. There's a bit over there. Crystals there. Crystals there. That's all just like free money and stuff. That's pretty good. Crystals there and there and there and there. Grab all the crystals. We need all the crystals you can bring back, please. We need to unlock the secrets of a workshop. Uh, we'll have that as well. Those things there can also go. Thank you. Right, 46. I think that's enough. Right, workshop. And also we can grow pineapples, which is brilliant. Okay, right, we'll have a bit of that. Thank you. And... Do you know what? We'll uh, get that upgrade done as well. Scrap dealers. So we can sell materials. So now we can click. So what do we get? Shift is sell 25. Control is sell 50. So let's go for the control option. So sell 50 of our materials. We don't really need that many. Right. We've got loads of money. <laughs> We've got so much money. So much money. Okay. Let's get some lovely decoratives down with our money. Uh, we'll have some daisies just there, because why not? And we'll put another statue... Th oh, we can't put a statue thing there. Uh, oh! The special buildings are going around the centre, look. So there's the market, there's the workshop, there's the technician cottage. Okay, so they just kind of build themselves around our sort of centre, so capital building, whatever it is. Right, Okay, right, I get that. That makes a bit more sense. I'm with you on that one. Uh, right, all oh, the plants are going to die momentarily. We do need to get that thing sorted. 5,000 monies and 50 crystals. But that would stop everything dying when it gets too cold. Um, are we able to run out and just grab these things really quickly? Before, before the frost properly kill everything? 
we can give it a go. The money is flying in. This is brilliant. Yeah, nothing much going on over here, look. Maybe. Maybe. What's the soil like over there? We can't really see what the soil's like over there because it's, it's all snowy. Okay, let's just wait then. We'll wait for winter to kind of uh, clear off. That's fine because we can't do much while winter's happening. So we'll get that all out of the way. That's all going to be good. And then we will see what we can do over here. I'm thinking maybe this is all kind of farming stuff. If the soil is rubbish over here, we could have housing. This could be like a great big sort of housing district. And we can now have a proper house. Okay, that increases the population limit by three. Right, that's going to be quite good. I think, yeah, if we set up a little housing thing over here. I want to see what the soil's like over there. What's it like? Dirt. It's just dirt. Okay, that's fine. Um, hang on a minute. We can grab some of these things again just for some free monies. Thank you. Yeah, I think over here then, this can be a big kind of housing area. Unless it is really good soil. Um, what was the soil there? Dirt terraformed. And that was gravel. Um, oh, oh, I see. Right. Wherever we put our things now, wherever we put the outpost, whichever land we claim, it's always good land now. Oh, OK. Right. So, OK, it's fine then. So wherever we get land, it's going to be nice to grow stuff on. So I think here over here, let's go for a little kind of housing area, shall we? So if we've got, yeah, if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, that's pretty good. And then we'll have... Uh, we'll do a similar thing here. So if we go one, two, three, like that look, and then get a couple of lovely decoratives. So we'll have a statue there because it's fancy. And then down here, let's get some daisies. Pop them just there. Right. So yeah, we're seven out of 150 decoratives, but we are now almost at 150 population. The only thing is water is now looking a little bit on the low side of things. So maybe we get another outpost and we put it... We have to move it down a bit. I want, we've got to capture that square there because otherwise it's just a bit silly, isn't it? So if we put that like that, that will allow us to capture a bit of a greater area. Okay, yeah, so pop that in there like that. That's all going to be lovely farmland. Um, the money is just pouring in. <laughs> The money is just flying in. Well done, you lot. Well done. Anybody else who's not busy, just grab all the stuff. Grab all of the things. There we go. Right. Decoration lot. Peonies. Oh, lovely. Okay, uh, this is great. Well, what does that do? Uh, raise the morale and makes your workers happier. Okay. So happiness is currently 61%. Wonderful. Um, and then, yeah, we can get another well just there, which is nice. Can we get any more upgrades? A nano separator for two and a half thousand money. One worker is enough to clear a nano bug infested hex. Or we could, oh yeah, wait for 3,000 money. Wells produce an additional water. That could be quite useful, couldn't it? That would be a very handy thing. And we're already over 3,000. <laughs> the money is just flying in. What do we need for the next outpost? A population of 120 which we already have. How about then we come down here? But that bit's going to be sort of lost to nothingness, I think, because there's all these kind of rock bits here. Can we do anything with these? Just sort of impassable cliffs and things. There's some metal chunks just there. There's some chunks of metal, which I assume we can... That's how we can dig them out, actually. They can harvest metal chunks. Okay. Ah, there we go. Improve pumps. So currently we're on 44 water. Grab that. 55 water. Right. That's much better. That's much better. Uh, food looking a little bit low for the population we have. So maybe now over here we grow... I think we've missed the pineapple harvest, but not enough crystals. Oh, we need crystals. Hang on. Grab, grab crystals. Grab that thing as well. Grab that for some money. Any other crystals? There might be some crystals over there, possibly. Um, yeah, we need some more crystals. I think we expand down here now, because we don't know what's down there. So, yeah, we'll get us another outpost. And if we put it sort of there, 
and that's going to unlock some who knows what's down here we'll just we'll just put it there there we go we'll see what's down here there might be some good stuff it might be awful who knows we will find out when this thing is constructed so you work on that my friend whack it with a hammer uh okay nothing much they are going to go and sort the soil out which is good um and okay right the weather's going to turn a little bit which is a bit of a shame however two more points for wells okay yes and yes get more water that's much better um okay how about then uh we get some more farms in how about more pumpkins um yeah we'll put one what if we put one like that and then another one can go in that gap like that there we go right pumpkins are all good and then were there any um diamondy things down here gems one little bit over there okay we'll try and grab those <laughs> if we can i did want to get pumpkin and uh, not pumpkins pineapples growing but i don't think we can oh that might be exciting though that might have stuff in that could be useful right you go and grab that and um yes we'll have to run through winter again because oh we might save up for the weather control thing we might save up for that five thousand monies and 50 crystally things to get weather control just to make sure that winter isn't quite so devastating i think that might be the best course of action it's going to take a while to get that money in but i think we'll be okay so uh yeah there we go we shall wait Do you know what oh i was going to say we could grab money from all these if we could just send everybody running out look to harvest the weeds and things just yeah, go crazy all this lot you lot there we go look but it's already gone. They've already vanished. Bother. Okay, never mind. We go up to 3,200 money, though. That's not too bad. Uh, we haven't found an ancient building yet. That's one thing we haven't happened across. So, okay, we'll have to try and find one of those. But, right, let's get out of winter, shall we? Get out of winter, get back into spring, and we'll just see what we can do. Uh, maybe try and complete that goal there. Complete that quest. Just get a load of... Um, Where's our 54 tiles of corn next to each other? We could probably do that, couldn't we? Let's get some corn planted down here, shall we? Right, there we go. Winter has gone. So let's go down here and get some corn in, shall we? So we'll have a bit there and a bit there and a bit there. And uh, we need to plant the other things. Oh, and a bit like that and maybe a bit there and possibly a little bit like that. So is that now going to be enough if we're planting many tiles of corn next to each other? Um, clear some nanobug infested tiles. 19 of those. We did have a few of those. It happened over here, I think. They all kind of went red and weird looking. So we sorted that out. That was fine. Um, and clear five weed tiles. Oh, that's dead easy. Yes, we will do that now. Thank you. We shall take the lovely rewards from that because that's really straightforward. Um, okay. Yeah, that's good. We'll have that bit there as well. Um, can we build another one of these? Yes, we can. Okay, there we go. That quest completed already. And harvest 15 corn. That's also going to be very, very easy to do. So, um, okay, where do we go next? Where do we go next? I mean, there is some kind of... There's a thing over there. That's going to make... That's people. And that's going to make people happier. But we have got all that room over there with nothing going on in it now. So maybe... We need to get four more crystals and we can get pineapples, which would be quite exciting. But as we said there, is it worth saving up the money and the crystals and getting weather control? Because that would also be a pretty handy thing to have. I think maybe let's expand over in that direction. We'll get some stuff here, look. And then who knows what's over here? Hopefully a massive load of crystals. That would be really good. So, um, yeah, we'll go to here. And we shall get an outpost. And it could go... If it goes there... The only thing is it's going to miss that one square out there. But if we put it there, it's already covering land we already have. Which, that's fine. We'll pop that there. They can claim all of that. We'll have all of that. Thank you as well. Just send some people out to grab all that. Two more water sources. And crystals. Okay. Crystals, all of these things. We'll have all of that, please. More crystals in the corner. Absolutely right. They're terraforming the ground. This is brilliant. Um, okay, I think let us get the weather control machine. Boop. Yes, we have a weather control machine. Air filters. 
propagators. Oh my goodness me. The caravan post generates crystals every day. That would be handy. Um, the terraformer, they can convert dirt soil into farmland. There are many exciting things. Many, many things. Okay, so I think right now, the first things we do is again, grab the water sources because that's fairly straightforward, nice and simple. 159 workers. That's quite good. Now, the only thing is, I'm not entirely sure in this video if we can complete these goals, because yeah, they are quite big goals. They have, I mean, yeah, getting 400 people is quite tricky to do. And 150 decoratives. <laughs> I mean, they're not cheap. They're not cheaper, the decoratives. They're 100 apiece. That's a lot of money on sort of decoratives, which I'm fine with. But, you know, it's just it's just a lot of money. So we'll do what we can. I think maybe if we capture an ancient building, that would be pretty good. That would be quite good. But now it's sort of this time of the year. If I slow time down a bit, we can see where the gaps are in here. So let's just put some lovely decoratives down, shall we? Uh, where are the peonies? We got those recently. There we go. So put some peonies over uh, here. Look, put a couple of bits over there. Uh, we'll drop some in around that look. We've kind of left that without anything going on. Um, maybe, could we get some housing going on in there? That might be quite fun. Get a house and get a house. So two houses and then we'll just put decoratives. We'll have meadow C and then we'll have some sunflowers and then we'll get meadow B like that. There we go. That just kind of fills that gap in just sort of fills the gap in and makes it look a bit better. And we'll do the same around here, actually. Let's get a house there and a house there, and then just put some more decoratives around it. Um, let's go for tulips. One and two and three. Nice, I like that. Oh, and there's a gap there as well, look. There's a bit of a gap there. That can be for decoratives. Let's put a statue like that, and then a hedge. There we go. Lovely. So you can look over the hedge at the statue, and it can look all very wonderful. Right, there we go. It's looking pretty good. 25 out of 150 decoratives. <laughs> good grief. Yeah, okay. That is that is quite difficult to do. Uh, right, let's grab all of these because as soon as we sort of highlight that, people will just swarm out and go to grab them. So yeah, we'll have all the things, please. Grab all the things. Ooh, ah, is that one of the things we're supposed to look at? There we go, an ancient building. A capturable ancient building. So maybe, yes. We want to go and grab that and have a little look at what's going on. What's our next kind of thing? Two and a half thousand money for that would be quite good. But propagators plus 20% food production. That's got to be what we go for. That's got to be it. And it's just it, it's just 7,000 monies. That's all. <laughs> it's only 7,000 monies. It's going to be fine. If we grab all this stuff, we might be able to make some money. This might be quite good. If we could get all that, please, that'd be grand. And I think let's get another outpost over here just to kind of fill this bit of the map up. We've got all these kind of things down here. We've got some water that we can go and grab. That will generate some water as well. So that seems like a sensible place to put a new outpost. Oh, there's a bag of goodies there. What's in the bag of goodies? It unlocks a new decoration. Okay, please be really exciting. Please be a really good decoration. Be something good. Come on, come on. Hang on. Move time on nice and quick. What have we got? Takes some while to kind of get the thing. A fountain. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is very exciting. I like that. Can we get a fountain in right now, please? 200 monies for a fountain. Uh, we'll put a fountain there and we'll just put a house next to it because why not? There we go. You can have a house with a fountain, you big fancy pants. Some gaps down here as well, actually, where we can put decoratives. Let's have some tulips there. And we'll have some sunflowers there. And we'll put um, peonies there. There we go. Oh, there's a gap down here as well. Hang on. We'll put something there too. Uh, we'll put a snow sproutling there because we haven't got one yet. And that's quite fun. Right. So over here, do the basics. Grab us some water. Brilliant. And um, yeah, let's just get that filled with corn. Let's just get loads of corn set up around here because we can. Because why not? So we get a bit there. Get a bit in that gap there. Get a bit over here as well. And even a bit just there, look. They might be overlapping a bit, but that's fine. Because, yeah, if we can get that done, another 30 tiles of corn next to each other, 
that's another goal out the way. We'll complete that one. And then decorations next to houses, 11 of those. That's not that difficult to do now either. We can get that done nice and easy. Maybe over here in the big kind of housing area. And then there's loads of room over here as well where we're not farming. Got loads of space going on. Um, what can we do in terms of these now? Anything else yet? No. We need a huge amount of money. Okay, right. Run time on very quickly. However, we should now see, over winter, the crops surviving. They are not dying, look, because we've got our magic sky weather control thingamajig, which is good. So yeah, if we could just grab all of these things, if we grab all these, just make some decent profit from these whilst the weather is like it is. Um, yeah, that'll just help make a little bit of money. There we go. Oh, all the weeds die. Oh, the weeds die, but our crops don't. Okay, lesson than there. Okay, so weeds bad, they die, and our crops are good. Okay, right, understood, understood. Okay, so I've moved time on quite a bit, as you can see, because now we have almost 14,000 coins, which is a lot of coins, and we have a new whole bit down here with a lot of corn down here. We've cleared out pretty much all the quests. We've got that new one just there that's not long been in, so that'll get done soon as well. And down here, look, we found these new little kind of things. These are myco farms, so like mycological type things that grow mushrooms. So a nice steady supply of food coming in from that one and that one, which is pretty good. We've got 230 population now. And because I've been filling in all the gaps with lovely kind of decoratives, we've got 52 out of the 150 decoratives we need to actually complete the level. And I think now, with our vast quantities of money, we should get a new outpost and try to claim that thing there, that ancient building. So if we put that, that outpost there works really well. If we put that there, that means that we uncover all this. And then I think we're at the top of the map as well. I don't think we can go any more that well on the map. Right, there we go. And it's just in the corner, look. It's right in the corner. So we are going to claim that. Uh, that's one of the four buildings we need to claim. So what is it? The remnant of old technology, which can be captured to gain a bundle of resources and valuable knowledge. Okay, so planes, farmland, terraformed, okie doke. Um, right, so now I've got 17,000 monies and quite a lot of food as well. The only thing we're kind of lacking is crystals. Can we maybe get some crystals? Ah, there's another one of the buildings that we need to go and find. Are all the others marked on the map somewhere now? Oh, they might be. There's one down there, look. And there's one over there. Okay, so now we know where we need to go. There's one there that we've got, and we've got one there, one there, and one down there. Right, okay, so we've got our kind of targets now. So we can work toward those rather than just kind of aimlessly going off into the dark. So, uh, okay, right, got to go over there. However, can we get some of these? So if we get the propagator in for a paltry 7,000 of our now 22,000 monies, that's 20% more food. That's quite good. So we'll have a little bit of that, thank you. Um, air filters is outpost radius plus one. Joe, we'll get that. Let's complete the things from here. So we'll have a nano separator so they can deal with the bug infestations a bit easier. And we'll have heavy tools so they can harvest the metal chunks. So we'll have that. And then can we find the metal chunks? Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're running out and doing it now, look. So they're working on that, which means that brings back even more materials. And we don't need that many materials. So if we just control sell a massive pile of these materials for yeah, not loads of money, but it's better than no money. Already, we're up to 30, almost 14,000 monies. We are now we're on 15,000. Now we're coming up to almost 16,000. Okay, right. So we are making a very, very good amount of money. This is brilliant. What's that thing? Pods are unavailable in this zone. Oh, yes, it mentioned that, didn't it? That was in the other zone. We have to use pods to do something that I can't quite recall. Um, okay, right, so over here, look. Got a few basic things that we need to do. Get some wells sorted out. That'll be good for some lovely water going on. Um, and then, yeah, okay, we need to head over in that direction. So, can we get... Ah, we can't get another outpost set up just yet because we need 240 people. Okay, that is absolutely fine. We can get that done. I think what we'll do is we'll do that little setup there and also a bit like that. 
and then we could put decoratives next to them and that just makes it all the more effective so yeah we'll have a bit of that we'll have a bit of that and there we go we're now up to 281 population it's now becoming relatively easy to get the population boosted um so yeah let's put that uh we could capture that thing down there couldn't we or we could go closer to the top and capture some of those things no the water's okay but we've got an all right amount of water let's maybe put that there look and that will allow us to grab quite a lot of handy bits and bobs okay so try and go over toward that one first i think to claim that one um and i mean we could just fill this entire bit with decoratives we could just fill that all up but did we not now i'm thinking about it did we not unlock access to some of these things like the watermelons and things we've now got 55 crystals can we unlock say peppers yes we can okay let's get some peppers planted because why not um oh okay they have to go on a particular type of ground then okay these are a little bit more fiddly than i was expecting but okay that's fine we'll go like that um we'll get a bit like that and that might be okay that might be okay yeah and that, that's not for growing peppers around there okay bad for peppers in that part of the world um leeks i mean leeks are quite good they're quite good but they only grow in one season whereas the beets they grow in two seasons um do you know yeah we'll go for some more beets over here then shall we just get some more beetroots on the go because why wouldn't we these farms are being placed very badly but never mind <laughs> i'm sure that all fit together if i did it properly but um this is okay look this is okay this is all fine we'll put one there look they've got a gap in the middle uh we'll pop another bit there and another one up here the amount of money we've got now is we can just just put them wherever we like really just drop them in willy nearly a bit like that and one there and one there there we go so lots and lots of lots and lots of whatever that was what was that again beat loads and loads of that are going to come through we've got a massive pile of money again uh we'll get the air filters so the outposts have a bit more radius right we need a bridge we need a bridge that's what we need now so a bridge let's go across oh i see we have to sort of do it like that do we okay right so build the bridge they've somehow got to the end of the bridge before the start of the bridge but okay that's fine that's fine well done good good initiative there and um yeah we'll get another outpost set up over here look um yeah just put it in the middle that'll do get that done claim that one i think we might be able to do this i mean yeah we could do with a, another option over here for the time speed thing to go like really 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 fast kind of speed but look at the look at the amount of things that just come out the amount of little <laughs> little helpers that just popped out to just do all the stuff that was brilliant uh okay right get all the well set up because we might as well grab all the water that we can and that's another ancient building that we've captured two out of four sorted um and let's just with some money just throw some decoratives down shall we let me just throw some in let's try and get up to i don't know 75 decoratives okay we've gone above and beyond 75 decoratives we now have 80 so we're over halfway there in terms of placing decorations which is good and because we put some houses down because we're putting decorations down and it makes sense to kind of put them next to each other to get the population boost we're now on 318 out of the 400 population we need to complete our goal over here so that's looking pretty good so i think over time we will get that sorted that's not going to be a problem getting over there might be an issue over here i think should be more straightforward if we come through here and then head up in that direction i think we'll be okay so if we get a little bridge like that um oh we're low on materials oh okay yeah we haven't really been doing too much about materials because we've had so many of them for so long um yeah go go scavenging sorry everybody i've kind of overlooked this bit of the game but um yeah can we go did i just tell them to dig up I think i might have told them to dig up some decoratives i did just tell them to dig up decoratives okay that's probably not what we want um okay everybody go and grab all this stuff go and grab all oh, there's crystals down there go and grab all of this this is all really useful stuff yeah and that as well yep absolutely all this down here please we'll have all that um and yes whilst you're working on that 
fact, we'll have all that over there, look. Loads over there. Just grab all, all of these things, everything. Bring it all over. Um, yeah, we'll put those decoratives back in. I can't remember what it was. I don't know, peonies or something. There's the terrible red insect things. Boo to those. Um, can we get anything in here? We could get the caravan post, which means we bring in crystals every day. Yeah, okay, we'll have a bit of that, thank you. Every plant is worth plus one, and the crystal yield goes up with 10,000 monies. Okay, we're, I think we could complete all of the things. I think with the way things are going, we can fly through and get this done. I don't think now it's going to be that much of an issue. So let's go and get an outpost set up. So, I mean, there looks pretty good. If we put the outpost there, and that's going to reveal that area... And then another one will get that thing for us sorted out. So that's going to be good. Um, yeah, materials. I suppose we could we could buy... Oh, we can't buy materials. Oh, okay. But there's loads of stuff over here, look. There's loads of stuff over here that we can go and grab, which might well result in materials, which is handy. So yeah, we'll have all that, please. Are they material generating things? I oh, know they're people. They're people that just want to join. But okay, right. So that's that done. Again, we shall do the thing over here. We'll have the water. Thank you, because it makes perfect sense. Um, that is food. Um, okay, let's just immediately get the other outpost set up just there. And that means we claim our third ancient building. Um, and then over here, when the sort of weather changes, we'll have a look at what the soil is like. And we'll see what we can plant. They're going to run out here and do all the stuff. This is wonderful. Uh, we'll have that and that and that. Thank you so much. Um, okay, right. This is this is looking great. This is going very well. We could potentially, if we want to really secure our water, um, go in here. Ah, yeah, but we need more population. We need two more people. I'm sure we can muster up a couple of people. How about we put... Um, oh, we can have a mansion now. We can have a mansion. Increase the population limit by 10. Okay, put a mansion just there. It's next to a well and some lovely decoratives. So 318 goes up to when they finish 330. Okay, right, we can put another thing down now. If we just put that in here, uh, if we put it a bit lower, it means we can capture that tile down there as well, which is probably quite good. Um, yeah, if we pop that there like that grab that stuff there so that can fill that area up we'll fill that with farm stuff and that's going to get us even more money we've got over ten thousand. we shall have hauling carts because why wouldn't we want that um yeah bring all the stuff back in bring it all back in uh we'll have we'll have some more wells because why not we've captured these things to give us that is some people who joined us and these are helping with water so water we're fine with now we have no qualms with any water. Water's going to be absolutely fine. Um, I think maybe then let's get a little area over here with some fancy mansions going on. So like that. And then in the middle, we'll put a fountain because, you know, mansions and everything. And on that side and that side, we'll have some um, some statues. That's quite nice. And then we'll just put some lovely tulips in front of them. There we go, look, that's quite nice. We appear to have 169 crystals, so why don't we unlock the majestic pineapple and then just get some pineapple farms down? Because why not? Because that sounds like a fun thing to do. So uh, yeah, get some pineapples in over here, please, and just there. Right, little kind of pineapple zone. That's lovely, they can work on that. And they should be growing now, because I think it was a summery thing. Um, what else can we unlock? Can we unlock watermelons? Yes, we can. Can we unlock grapes? No, I don't think we can because we haven't got enough crystals. I'm fairly sure we will get there in time. I don't see that being an issue. Um, okay, so the final thing we need to get to is down here. So let's just build a few outposts to try to get over there. We could get some bridges set up, actually. That would not be a bad idea. If we get a bridge there and there, that's quite handy. Oh. It's 200 of the materials to get that done. Okay, that's actually quite a lot. That's way more than I thought it was going to be. Right, go and do some scavenging, you lot. Go and scavenge many a thing and bring back all the goodies because we need to build some bridge bits. Uh, right, yeah, get a bridge bit done there. What's that just there? 
A watchtower reveals fogged areas. Ooh. Can we pop up? Ah, you can put it wherever you like. Let's put a watchtower there just because we haven't got one. And that might be quite an interesting thing to do. We can see what's over here, maybe. Just to see how we get over here. Oh, it's just a big load of water. But okay, right, that's fine. Um, Okay, okay, so we know where we need to go. We need to come down here to get that sorted out. Population isn't going to be that much of a bother. I think we've got that in the bag. So really, the big thing is decorations, which is absolutely fine with me. I can put down many decorations. It's all going to be wonderful. Maybe over here toward the west of our little settlement, although I am saying little settlement, it's not really that little anymore. It's quite big. It's a huge, big, sprawling settlement. So maybe over here toward the west of our huge big sprawling settlement or whatever I just called it, we should get some housing down and that will complete our population goal just there. That'll be fine. And then we can put some decoratives around the houses and get that sorted out as well, maybe. And then as the final thing we can do, we can come down here, get an outpost set up and then go and have a look at what that is over there. And that should then wrap things up. But I think that should be the final thing we do. I think we should go go and explore the ancient building as our last act there. So get all the population sorted out, get the decoratives done, and then go and capture an ancient building. So let's go over here. And I mean, this is going to be really easy because we now have access to mansions. So we can just go, okay, I'm going to put a mansion there and a mansion there and a mansion there. That's going to sort out the population. In the middle, we'll put a couple of statues like that. And then we'll put a fountain just there because we've got ridiculous amounts of money. That is now done. So hooray for the target population of 410. Um, and then around these, we're just going to put tulips around the entire thing because that's lovely. So there we go. That's moving us closer toward that goal. Um, and then maybe around here and such like we'll just put some more in okay sunflowers there we go there's six lots of sunflowers going in uh, put another couple of bits in there why not um let's get another fountain maybe another fountain just there could be quite nice there's nothing going on over here look nothing happening over there or down here um there's plenty of fountains over there so maybe not fountains how about a couple of statues let's get four statues in like that and then get um, and a peonies. So just put some peonies in like that. There we go, look. So we're on, what's that, 127. Also, I would like to complete all of these. We'll get the Traders Guild. Every plant is worth plus one. That's exciting. Um, and to get this terraforming thing, we need 25,000 monies. Also, we do need 15,000, no, one and a half thousand, sorry, materials, which could be quite difficult. And then 22,000 for fertilizer. I, if we're going to do it, we might as well do it properly. So we'll try and complete all of the researchy bits and bobs as well. We'll try and get that done too. Let's just gather all these resources because that will give us some materials, which is what we need. So yeah, we'll have all of that. Thank you. The money is flying up, so I'm not so concerned about the cash. It's more, yeah, the materials. So we'll get all that done, look. Come out and grab all of this, little friends. There we go. Yep, absolutely. Go and grab all the stuff before it vanishes. Well, the snow takes it all. Yeah, grab that and that. Right, there we go. One and a half thousand materials. <laughs> That's a lot of materials right there. That's much. And it's ticking up as well. Um, and look at that happiness. is on 94%. 50% from food. 44% from decoratives. Which is just amazing. Uh, right, so go to here. We will now unlock Terraformer. Workers can convert dirt soil into farmland. So we'll grab a bit of that, and now all we need is a giant pile of money to get that final bit of research done. Um, and, I mean, yeah, we've still got some stuff over here, look. We've still got stuff over here. What's that supposed to be? Oh, the tulips. Oh, because, of course, yes, it's, um, it's a bit wintry, so they're not growing so well. That's absolutely fine. Um, let's get, um, I don't know, a couple of extra statues. So we'll do that. Whoa! What just happened there? What was the way I ran out and did a thing? What was that? Did they run out and do some sort of terraforming thing? Did they do this thing? Oh, maybe they did. Oh, okay. Well, well done them. That's very impressive. And um, behind these houses here is a bit drab, isn't it? Let's put some daisies behind there. So we'll put some daisies behind those. So that's okay. So we're now on 135 out of 150. <laughs> we can do this. We can get this sorted. Um, and then we'll get some peonies just to fill that gap in there that's an unfortunate gap and over there as well 
So that is us now on 143 out of 150. Uh, the weather has changed. So now all well, the farms are going to kick back into life. We should make a lovely pile of money. Uh, we're not growing any watermelons. Also, we can unlock grapes as well. Uh, let's get some watermelons planted just because we haven't got any. And that's the only reason. <laughs> so we'll just do it a bit like that and then pop that in. And then one like that. There we go. Just get some watermelon farms in because why not? There we go. They're all a bit fancy. Um, and you've got 4,000 money left. So to get the final thing to get fertilizer, we need 22,000 monies. Uh, and then a few final decoratives. And then it'll just be a case of getting the outpost over. I mean, there we'll do it probably. In fact, just there we'll do it. That'll sort it out. So, uh, yeah, we won't do that right now, though. We will wait. I do like how it all goes lovely and green. It's all very lush. Look at that. It's all proper farmland. Okay, yeah, that was that thing, wasn't it? That was the terraformer. So the soil is really good for everything, which is wonderful. Okay, yeah, good. This is all fine. I think maybe to get... We've got seven bits of decor left. How about then? We've got loads of water. Let's get some mansions by the river over here, look. We'll get that done. Oh, we can get two because we've burnt through the materials. We'll get two of those and then we'll just put some nice flowers. So tulips, tulips, tulips. That's quite lovely. So that gets up to 146. And then we'll put a fountain behind each house. So that's quite fancy. So we'll have a bit of that. We are going to go and grab some of these resources here because that'll give us materials because we're out again. So there we go. Let us go and grab all this. Um, yeah, all that down there. Oh, there's like a proper pile of them there. They can mine through that, so that should be pretty good for that. Right, there you go. We're sorted for that now. Um, and yeah, get one more mansion in just there. And then we just need two more decorative items, and that is it. So we shall get ourselves another fountain to go just there. And what's going to be the final decorative item? What shall we have? Um, we haven't seen much of the festive trees and the snow sproutlings. We haven't got a um, mystery bag of goodies that we haven't opened up, have we? I don't think we have. No. Okay. I was going to say, if we found a new kind of thing, then we could go and grab that and put that down as a final item. But no, we haven't uh, We haven't got one lying around. Uh, let's get... How about just a tree? Just a lovely tree. In this game about planty people, a tree seems like quite a good thing to complete our decorative goal there. So uh, let's put the tree... Um, where's the original centre? Where is the original middle of everything? Down here, look. Have we got room down here? Yeah. Do you know what? We're going to put it just there. Why not? There we go. So a new tree goes in. A mighty oak, no less. And that is done. So now, I was going to say we need a massive pile of money, but we've just been given a massive pile of money. So we'll unlock fertiliser. Okay, so the entire research tree, as it is, is now done. So all we need to do is build an outpost. We've got the population, got loads of population. And I think now we have enough money to get this done. So if we put that just there, say, that is absolutely fine. Get that in. Little planty friend runs in, gets a hammer, smacks the thing, does some building. Uh, yeah, we'll clear all this stuff out and then we'll get that sorted. And I think that will be it. There we go. Congratulations. You have built a safe settlement for your tribe. Create a mode can be enabled by clicking the pencil icon in the bottom left. Ah, down there. Okay. You can also restart this uh, zone in simulation or create a mode, even regenerate the map with a different seed. Okay. And then it says, yay. And there's a little planty person. Yay. Okay. There we go. I think we've done everything we can do. We've done everything. The only thing we didn't do is plant, uh, is plant any grapes. Do you know what? Grapes. There we go. Got grapes now. We're growing grapes. We can have wine. It's going to be brilliant. Okay. There we go. That is that sorted. We've completed that. So I am intrigued to know what the robots do. But I think, yeah, I think if we had dived into the robot level, it could possibly have gone quite wrong, couldn't it? Because we didn't really know what we were doing in this. So, yeah, I agree with the game where it says this is good for the first time playing. Um, so there we go. There we go. We've completed the level. We've made a lovely little settlement for our planty friends. And yeah, I've really enjoyed this. It's been really, really good. I'm quite surprised. I thought it was going to be 
a little bit more sort of a little bit more survivally if you like but this is kind of more sort of you know, it's more of a you complete the level by doing these goals i thought it was going to be more of a survival type game where we had to kind of you know, struggle against the elements and that kind of stuff but no we sort of maybe on other levels you might find it more difficult but this was quite sort of um, quite free flowing it was quite nice and quite easy and eventually like now look now when you've got massive piles of money in 15,000 farms it's really easy to get it all done you know early on it was a bit trickier and then yeah you've got kind of sciencey boost things as well got all the different things you can unlock and the different buildings and the different farms and many lovely decoratives which is very exciting so well uh, so yeah i've really enjoyed it and it looks good as well it does look good i like the appearance of it i like the kind of planty people running around i mean some variety in them would be quite nice maybe just some different types of planty people um and then yeah look all the different farms they look really good, the little kind of houses and the sort of random machines you find around the place. And yeah, it's really good. It's a very pretty game. And you know, it's, it, it is just, you know, it is a chill and cosy city builder game. It's quite lovely and laid back. I mean, yeah, if there were robots causing problems, that might be a little bit less laid back. But I don't imagine that it's going to be too difficult to handle the robots on the robot levels. Don't imagine it's going to be too sort of tricky to deal with because, you know, it is supposed to be a lovely laid back sort of chilled out city builder thing. So there might be a bit of a nuisance, but I don't see the robots coming in with like a giant death laser and just yeah, annihilating all your planty people and setting everything on fire and stomping on things. I just, they're probably just going to be in the way or something like that. So, um, yeah, it's been really good. It's been really, really enjoyable. I've had a lovely time with it. But yes, we have completed everything we can complete on this particular level. We've built all the things. We've completed all the goals. Everything is done. We've made a massive pile of money, a huge pile of food. We are rich with crystals and we've got loads of water left as well. So all in all, I would say this has been a pretty pretty successful trip down onto the planty person's planet so we will wrap things up for now hopefully you did enjoy this i really hope you did because it was a lot of fun to play if you did enjoy it then please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time we found a whale pandas hello panda friend oh you're adorable good deal two deer penguin 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 peacock oh we've got an owl we've got manta rays parrots and there we go beavers yay yes it was an eagle it's a turtle we've got a narwhal we've got frogs this is i love this <laughs>